Hi friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy once again. Part 2 video lecture on numerical method for engineering semester 2 mathematics. This operator is called as nebla. When it is operated on a function f of x, what it does is it gives the difference between the function, current value and the previous value. So current value of the function is fx and the previous value is f of x minus h. This is called as e inverse, inverse shift operator. When it is operated on fx, it simply shifts the function backwards. Now they sometimes ask a question for 3 marks. Prove that nebula equals to 1 minus e inverse. Very simple question. We can say nebula of fx equal to f of x minus f of x minus h. Now, what is f of x minus h? It is nothing but e inverse f of x. Taking f of x common, we get 1 minus e inverse. On the left side, we have nebula fx. Dividing throughout by fx, we get nebula equals to 1 minus e inverse. Hope you understand this question. Please note down. My dear friends, the next question is prove that e inverse equals to e raised to minus ht. Now, what is e inverse fx? e inverse fx is f of x minus h. Now, using Taylor series expansion, f of x minus h will be f of x minus h into derivative of fx plus h square by 2 factorial into second derivative of fx minus h cube upon 3 factorial into third derivative of fx. Now what I can do is I can take f of x common from here. I get 1 minus ht plus h square d square by 2 factorial minus h cube d cube by 3 factorial plus so on operating on fx. Now look at this quantity in the bracket. It is comparable with 1 minus x plus x square by 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial and so on. Where if you compare in place of x you will find it is hd. Now this particular expansion is of e raised to minus x. Here x is nothing but hd. So this entire expression is expansion of e raised to minus ht operating on fx. Dividing throughout by fx, we get e inverse is equal to minus ht. Please note down this. Another very important question is prove that delta into nebula equals to nebula into delta. What I do, I consider delta into nebula operating on yn. Now, what is this nebula yn? Nebula yn will give me the difference between current value yn with its previous value yn minus 1. Next, we shift this delta on both, distribute this delta on both. So delta yn minus delta yn minus 1. What delta does? It gives me difference between next value with the current value. Next value is yn plus 1 minus current value is yn. Similarly here, next value of yn minus 1 is yn minus the current value is yn minus 1. When you simplify, you get this. I call it as 1. Next, consider this nebula into delta yn. Now what is delta yn? It gives me next value minus the current value. What is next value of yn? It is yn plus 1 minus the current value is yn. Nebula is distributed on both. Now, according to nebula operator, this will be current value minus the previous value. Similarly, nebula yn will be current value minus its previous value. Simplify, we get this. Compare equation 1 and 2, the RHS are same. So, left hand sides will also be same. So if you compare the left hand sides of both the equations and divide throughout by yn, you get
delta into nebula which is equals to nebula into delta please note down another very important question is prove that 1 plus delta into 1 minus nebula is 1 so I consider 1 plus delta into 1 minus nebula operating on y n so it is 1 plus delta shift it here I mean distribute it here it will be y n minus nebula y n next this y n remains as it is nebula y n current value which is y n minus the previous value which is y n minus 1 so it is 1 plus delta and this will be y n minus 1 again opening this bracket it is y n minus 1 plus delta y n minus 1 what delta does the next value which is y n minus the current value y n minus 1 this gets cancelled and you have y n on the left hand side 1 plus delta 1 minus nebula y n is equal to this dividing by y n what we get is 1 plus delta into 1 minus nebula which is equal to 1 no term next important question is this e raised to 1 by 2 plus e raised to minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus delta raised to half equal to this so i consider the left hand side this term as it is now 1 plus delta is e we have seen in part 1 1 plus delta is e so it is 1 plus delta raised to half so it is e raised to half open this bracket e raised to half into e raised to half is e and this is e raised to minus half into e raised to half which is 1 and what is e e is 1 plus delta so 1 plus delta plus 1 is 2 plus delta please note down the next question my dear friends they are asking us to evaluate delta square upon e operating on x cube and they say take h as minus 1 so delta square by e on x cube delta is written as e minus 1 so it is e minus 1 the whole square using the formula a minus b the whole square we get e square minus 2e plus 1 divided by e let us separate it out e square upon e minus this upon this that is 2 plus 1 by e which is e raised to minus 1 distribute this x cube so e of x cube minus 2x cube plus e inverse x cube now what is this e it is shift operator it will shift the function to the next value that is x plus h so x becomes x plus h this is as it is this is inverse shift operator it will shift the function one step back so x is becoming x minus h x cube becomes x minus h the whole cube remember they told us to take h value as 1 so taking h as 1 i get x plus 1 the whole cube this is as it is and this is x minus 1 the whole cube simplify this using a plus b the whole cube formula and a minus b the whole cube formula you will get 6x hope you understand wish you all the best for your exams and please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned I'll see you later. Bye-bye.